Today we are going to do some more advanced stuff with our intercom doorbell. We're going to be adding a wireless charm in your system. And this is the digital door charm we'll be using today. This is like a remote to put outside the house. Uh, so you attach it to the wall, you press it. This will turn on. So this is a digital chime. You can put it anywhere. Let's plug it to the wall. Pair these two up and make sure they're working. So before we continue, we need to understand how the chime actually works with the remote here. So let's go ahead and uh, open this up. We got to this electrical board. The push button is going to push this button here. And we're going to locate which kind of connections are making the chime works. So I have a cable here. This is just an aluminum cable that I'm using. Uh, you can use any cables. So I'm going to be shorting these two to check if these connections are working. All right, as you can see, it was blinking. So it was sending signal to the door chime and uh, it was raining a little bit earlier. So these are the two connections we're going to need to short. So now make sure your devices are connected to each other. This is now working. On the back of the device, what we can work with is actually these connection here. This is associating with this plug right here. The cable you're going to need comes from the box. So the cable we'll be using will be this red and black cable. Normally open 2 and COM 2. Open up your NVMS V3, add your indoor station to it and click on configuration. And that would get to this page. We're going to go to calling linkage and make sure your relay is checked and enable and hit save. The second settings we're going to need is we want to check our output relay at least one second. I'm going to put it for 10 seconds because it is going to be used for demonstration. So make sure it is checked. So what the setting we just did on the computer enables the relay that built in here. And whenever we press on the doorbell, this relay gets triggered. That means we can use these two cables solder onto these two points. When the relay kicks in, it will make a short on these two points and the digital chime will work. You can probably find something like this, a soldering paste where you can just squeeze it in. Make sure it gets dry and hardened before you leave. So now we're gonna do a quick demonstration. I'm going to push the button and then the relay gets triggered, becomes closed and we have 10 seconds to do this. Then I'll put the two wires here. The chime just got triggered. So there we go. If you find this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and let me know. And if you want any more projects, let me know and I will try to solve it for you. And I will see you in the next video. Shoo.